About a year ago, I had traveled to the Philippines for the first time in almost 10 years. And while I was there, I of course recorded a couple of videos, uh, but the downside is they, they've they never been uploaded or edited or anything. I've never touched them at all. One of them most notably that I want to bring up is called, well, I, I was going to call it, uh, Can You Survive the Philippines Using Only English? Uh, something around the lines and well I never really got to editing it or looking at it or, or doing anything with it until now so you're gonna see some footage from that and um, I don't know I just want to bring it up to light so here we go play the footage the footage better be playing right now so I'm in the Philippines right now okay I kind of realized that this kind of needs some some backstory some world building right now. Let's start from the beginning. So at this time, I had just landed into the Philippines and it's been a couple weeks now spending time with family, friends, and a whole bunch of stuff. I went to a pier, I celebrated my dad's birthday. That one was a big one. That celebrating my bat so like celebrating my dad's birthday was huge it, there. I can't speak. I had some food, got food poisoning. I ate even more food. I, I love food. Food is amazing. That's why I'm a big boy. I bought all of Jollibee. I bet my really, really cute goddaughter. Hi. I'm a Ninong. That's the translation. I'm a Ninong. I love saying that, Ninong. Found out that I have a bajillion cousins there that I've never met. And also, I got told that I looked like some famous person some famous American actor or something. I don't know. I, I was surprised. They thought I was a stranger and I wasn't Filipino. Oh, and of course, how did I miss the most obvious thing? I dyed my hair. I uh, bleached it, dyed, sa oh, same thing, right? This was my first time ever bleaching my hair. Honestly, I'd do it again. I love silver. Well, it was like blonde at first, but it became silver. Cause look at these photos. I look hot. Just gotta boost my confidence a little. Let's just go back to the video. And I wanted to see if you could survive with only using English. So here we are on our way to Manila, the big city, basically like the big apple of the Philippines. We're going there because my because my dad's side of the family lives in Manila and he has a house that we wanna go visit because we do that every time I go to the Philippines. And so our journey begins and the scorching heat. You know, I think for the most part you'll be fine because a lot of people here speak English. I mean, my family probably knows where this is, but we went to a very special church and we met... I, here are some photos and videos. Ten out of ten place. Would go again. Now this, this is Tagalog, but it's still very basic stuff that you probably should know. I mean, all you have to know that it says thank. I mean, this could say you should eat it. Definitely eat it. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, hey, you've got signs for the bathroom, and it also says do not enter. So, but hey, people do it all the time. So what are you gonna do about it? So check out this place. Isn't it so beautiful? To be quite honest with you, I've never really been a city type of guy. I've actually really liked the rural areas of a place. How's it going, man? How you doing? Just chilling. I see that. I love the farmlands. I love the suburbs. I love anywhere that's not a city, like rural. Ugh, son. Wait, that'll get me censored. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. I love seeing the animals. I love seeing the crops. I love seeing people. D not cars. D stop. No. I love sweating. Because I'm a gamer. I think here is so beautiful. Everything's... Like, the food is delicious. And I don't even know what to ramble about. Because, like, you kind of just have to take it all in. And uh, if you have any problems, then you kind of just wing it. Because that's what we do. Hello there. Meh, it's a me. I don't really know what I was doing here. I guess I was trying to simulate what it was like to buy water, but I was really awkward and didn't want to film in public. So, yeah. That's how you get, like, something like water. Or food. 
It's really hot. And now it's time to introduce some special characters. This is my my Lola, and this is my Lola. And this is my little cutie. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Hello, blog. Hola. Anong gusto niyo po sa sa Pilipinas? What do you like about the Philippines? She just ended up complimenting how I looked. So here's a little more footage of my cute little baby cousin. Why oh, she got better drip than me? And after a couple of hours driving, actually it wasn't that long. I don't remember. It was some time driving with some reckless Filipino driving. The classic. We finally arrive in Manila. The best place for the heat to scorch you. For some reason it was just extremely hot and I was sweating just existing. It'd be like that sometimes. Sheesh! This is crazy. <laughs> oh, this place is... Whoa! Endless, right? Well, don't mind if I do. Dude, there's so much I don't even know like what to look at. Oh my gosh, Thomas. Thomas, what did they do to you? Thomas, you look so fabulous. So what you're seeing right now is the Venice Grand Canal Mall at McKinley Hill. I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> is it bad that I kind of want to jump in it? I want to swim in it. My family and I pretty much just walked around and saw a bunch of beautiful sights. Yeah, my camera work was not very good, but I just saw a lot of weird things. Guys. I found Thanos. It's Thanos. I found Thanos. What's up, man? And of course, I had to take some videos of my cousin for memory's sake. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is some hell of a view. This is extremely gorgeous. It's so absolutely stunning that I love. I, I I'm a lot. I'm I'm at a loss of words. I can't even speak. What do you think about this? I think it's cool. She says yes. Okay, guys. But seriously, let's do some bread talk. Eh. <laughs> I think if you don't speak Tagalog, that's okay. I think the one thing you do need to actually do. Is actually understand Tagalog or just a little bit because if you don't understand what people are saying and it's gonna be a little a little difficult to talk and understand what it is that you want to communicate going off the rails a little bit just take a look at all of this bread it's amazing oh I, oh, I just want all of it I want to eat all of it right now so they have a bunch of chips here and my brother's been trying to find Takis we haven't been able to find it I also managed to catch my brother doing something he's kind of embarrassed about. Come on, do that thing again. What are you chewing on now? What are you chewing on now? <laughs> Look man, I gotta ask. You can speak English, right? Okay, cool. I think he was pretty nice. There was like a big weird disconnect from rural and city you could definitely tell I feel like city people are are more somewhat aggressive let's go happy birthday they i don't know i don't know how to describe it okay i'm a, I'm a rural kid i'm a farm boy it was just a different vibe basically there was a lot of people a little too much people and um they were all swished together i had mega anxiety there still a nice city though very beautiful places. Also, everyone had money, so I was not special there. <laughs> but you know what? Despite all of its craziness and all of the hectic busyness of people, it was still absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and oh, nothing beats the Philippine sunrise and sunset. Both of those were just... Oh, that was the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen.
For some reason, I had a sudden realization of something. I don't know why my brain just thinks of this, but I just thought to myself, I'm not going to be seeing this again for a while. A really long while. You see, a couple of years ago, sometime during Christmas night, when I was really little, my family had just come back from, I think, a Christmas party. We had brought uh, a suitcase filled with some, like, family paperwork stuff and a video camera. And we had accidentally left those two things inside of uh, our car and we, we went to bed, you know, thinking everything would be okay, right? Christmas night, it's a great time celebration. Woohoo! Um, our, our car got broke into. Now, this video camera is very special to us because, for one thing, it had footage of when I was born, so pretty, pretty important things that you'd probably want to keep. Um, but yeah, someone had broken into our car with a rock and had stolen a suitcase and the video camera. That video camera had footage from basically all of our outings back to when I would come back to the Philippines every year. A lot of very precious memories that just were gone. Someone had them. That video camera, I don't know why I put like a symbolism to that, but that holds a very special meaning to me. Kind of like the start of me wanting to make videos. It isn't exactly, but I, I feel like a video camera itself is just a good symbol. And at that time, someone had just taken that away. Now, luckily, the suitcase showed up. It was just like thrown into a bush of someone's front yard. So we found that, but to this day, we still have not found that camera. With all those precious footage gone, there's just no other way for me to watch myself grow, to watch myself enjoy the wondrous world of Philippine culture. All my friends and family that I, I basically grew up with, just gone. Now I didn't think much of it at the time because I was I was super little, right? Someone taking the video camera, I didn't know it had hold of all of these precious footage. I, I just knew that it was gone. I, I would never see it again. But as it grew, it just kept itching at me. I wanted to see more of, of my past. I wanted to see more of the Philippines. And unfortunately, I mean, I had photos, but not footage. I don't really know a proper way to convey this, but I think one of the main reasons I, I wasn't able to edit all of my videos that I recorded for the Philippines is because I think I miss home. It makes me miss being there. It makes me just wish that I was there and that I was still just enjoying my time there. Staring at the footage that I have, there's just a reminder that I was here and that I wasn't in the Philippines with, with all my family members. America is my current home right now, but it, it doesn't feel like home. I don't really have many family members here in America. Most, if not all of my family is, is back home in the Philippines and landing back there, I just felt at home. I felt so comfortable. I honestly didn't want to leave. It was, it was amazing. All my family, my grandparents, my cousins, all bajillion of them. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of cousins there that I didn't even meet that I have. I think editing this video has has definitely made me realize that I really miss home. I I miss that place so much. Uh, but also, um, oh my god, I don't know. I don't know why. It's onions. It's onions. Trust me. It's onions. It's okay to miss things. It's okay to just remember the good old days. To cherish the memories that you've had. And you know, despite not having the footage of when I was younger, back uh, in this very special place of mine, I may not have the, the physical wellness and the actual scenery, the imagery. I know deep down, it's it's all in here and in, in here. Look at that heart. <laughs> I think I'll always remember it and, and share this Ch cherish those moments. It honestly does live on inside of, of me and in here and I don't think I'll ever forget that. Also, do you see these emotions? <laughs> these are not fake. So even though I, 
I wasn't able to record as much footage or take as many photos as I'd like because I just wanted to live in the moment there. I wanted to just take in as much as I could without caring about, oh, I need to make a YouTube video out of this, so I need to post this onto Instagram. No. I just wanted to cherish my time that I had left and to eventually look forward to coming back next time. Now, this video might be all over the place. Who knows? I... I don't know. I... So, did we ever figure out the answer to the question, can you speak only English in the Philippines? The answer is... Yeah. I mean, probably should know a little bit about the language. But, yeah, you can make it, I guess. Want Panda Express? Is that a yeah? Holy shit, is that who I think it is? Oh my god, I love you! <laughs>